Hey guys, today I want to show you a nice Android Studio plugin called ADB IDEA, which provides shortcuts for different useful operations for our emulator, which you can see in this list here. For example, we can quickly clear our app data and restart our app. For this I have prepared the grocery list app that we built in the SQLite tutorial. And the items that are in this list here are saved in a database, which means that if we restart this app, this data would still be there. And often you just want to reset your app to its default state with all data removed. And when we click on this, we see that it really quickly deleted our database entries and restarted the app. We can do more useful stuff like granting or revoking permissions, quickly uninstall our app or start the debugger. Let's try uninstalling, which is also usually a very tedious job. And as you can see, it's super quick and our app is gone. And installing this plugin is pretty easy. We go into our files tab here, into settings, and here we go to plugins. And in the search box here, we search for ADB idea and click on search in repositories. And that's the one we want. ADB idea, we click on install. And when it's done installing, we have to click on restart Android Studio. Click OK here as well. We click restart here as well. And when Android Studio is restarted, we are ready to use this plugin. There are three different ways to use it. We can go to Tools, Android, ADB IDEA, and here we have our different options. The second one is pressing Ctrl Shift A and typing in ADB. And here you can see all the options that belong to ADB IDEA. And the third option is pressing Ctrl Shift Alt A and we get this operations pop up here. It doesn't have all the options as the other menus, but the most important ones, like starting and restarting our app, killing the app process or uninstalling it. However, starting the app only works if it's already installed. And we can also press these numbers here on our keyboard to make this process even faster. So I highly encourage you to try this plugin because it's really quick and really useful. If this video was helpful, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe if you want more Android tutorials. Take care.